What's up peeps? How's it going? Tifty here. Today we have 10 general gameplay tips for the engineer. These are just some of the things that I find that I do whilst I'm playing engineer and I tried to mix it up by discussing both some of the more important stuff as well as some of the more interesting techniques as well. So let's jump straight in. This is a fairly obvious one, but it's definitely worth mentioning. When you're building, you're really vulnerable, so you need to make sure that you're one, aware of any approaching enemies, and two, avoiding any potential backstabs. The most common way to do this is to use a kind of a circular motion or a kind of random motion around your building. This means you're able to kind of take a look in all directions as you're building them, and it kind of puts off spies from going for the backstab. Another option though, uh, that makes you look a little bit mental, is to basically look behind you in between each hit of your building with the wrench. By doing this, you can just keep a lookout for any kind of movement that might be going on behind you. And if you spot something in the corner of your eye, you can turn your attention to it and it may just save your life. This technique is more useful for when you aren't able to circle all the way around your building and the space is more tight. Alternatively, you can just keep your back against a wall whilst you're building. At the beginning of the round, you can use the setup time to really plan exactly where you want your buildings to go. But when it all kicks off, you have to be able to adapt and go with the flow of the game. Don't confine yourself just to two or three spots because if your team you know, is starting to hold in a particular unusual position, then you know, set up there and support them. It's worth having three or four spots you really enjoy using per map, but just be prepared to use a number of other spots in between those at any given moment. If you find yourself waiting around, then just move up a bit so you can continue to contribute to your team. A lot of engineers tend to build really bunched up, but it's usually best to separate out your buildings when you can. Placing your buildings close together makes it easier for explosive classes to get damage out onto your base and take it all out in one go. Whereas having you know, a level 3 dispenser survive an attack, this could potentially help you get set back up really quickly if your sentry goes down. In a couple of these examples you can see sometimes how far I tend to build my buildings away from each other. Obviously you want the dispenser to be fairly close at hand if you're having to tank an attack on your sentry, but as long as it's a couple of paces away that's usually fine. And as for the telly, again if it gets sapped you want to be able to get to it quickly, but there's no need to have it all bunched up in one spot. Another good rule of thumb is to not stand near your buildings unless you're of course building them, repairing them or preparing for an incoming attack. Spreading out gives the enemies multiple targets to think about and this can really distract them and deter them. As you can see here, my sentry's built right over to the left there but I'm kind of scouting out to the right, keeping my distance. When you have to get set up quickly and you have limited metal supply, keep an eye out for boxes that have been dropped by enemies and go on little scavenging trips to collect them up. This is really useful especially when you're in areas that don't have a lot of metal to use. In this example I'm on 2 fort. Fortunately an enemy comes up behind me and we're able to take him out pretty easily and so I'm just going to go ahead, grab his metal and this will help me get set up much quicker. You can also go about this a little bit more proactively and actually farm metal. This usually works quite well with a stray overextended enemy, especially perhaps when you have a level one sentry gun which can sort of support you to deal out some damage. In this example here, I'm on upward and my sentry gun spots someone through that doorway and gets a little bit of damage out of them. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and hunt them down and see if I can take them out. This sniper puts up a bit of a fight, but I'm able to finish him off and then get a bunch more metal, which I can then use on my buildings. Don't feel that because you're a support class you should be avoiding combat altogether. Once you're set up, scout out incoming enemies and apply some pressure to them. This will at the very least be a distraction, but it will also put some damage out as well as stress them out a little bit. You'd be surprised at how just taking a small amount of damage can really affect people psychologically. They feel more vulnerable and rushed and they tend to not play at their best. Here I'm on Dust Bowl and I spot this soldier spamming rockets onto my mates. So I'm just going to go up there and take a shot at him, freak him out a little bit and push him back. So now he'll be a little bit more cautious when he tries to attack. Obviously try not to scout too far ahead as you want to make sure you can get back for any spies that may be sapping your buildings. Someone, 
This is a more of a specific technique that kind of fits in with what I was talking about earlier about staying away from your buildings. It can be a really fun technique to use as a more aggressive engineer. So as you're scouting out, sometimes you're basically able to bait people into following you towards your sentry gun. By making the enemy focus on you, it means they may not spot the sentry gun in time. They may not be able to escape as quickly as they would normally. And as they do get in range of your gun, you can quickly turn around and get really aggressive onto them to help finish them off. This is especially useful for tougher classes, and it also works really well with close quarter combat classes like the Pyro, who normally won't be able to resist but to charge at you, at which point it's too late, they're in the range of my sentry gun and they are taken out nicely. As an engineer you've invested a lot of time into your sentry gun so you really want to protect it at all costs but try not to go down with the ship. If you sense a big push coming or there's an ubered enemy on the way just know when you're done and be comfortable just retreating. You're much more useful alive and you'll be able to set up another base much more quickly if you're able to escape with your life rather than having to wait through the respawn time. And if you're like me and you use the frontier justice then it's even more important that you get away so you can make good use of those crits. On this example here we're on bad water and things are getting pretty hectic so I make sure I'm nice and healed up. One last attempt at trying to fix up that sentry gun but it goes down so I'm just going to get the hell out of there. Maybe my teammates can hold them off a bit longer but um, seven revenge crit shots here so I'm going to keep hold of them, get out of there and build up my sentry gun again. So this is a little bit of a cheeky technique, but if they're going to allow you to watch the game while you're dead, you may as well make full use of it. So in the situations where you are taken out, but for some reason your buildings have survived, select a camera that's nearby your base so you can take a look around that area whilst you're dead. This is really useful for watching out for incoming enemies so that you're prepared for them when you respawn. Or alternatively, it may just warn you when your base is pretty much doomed and you may as well start setting up somewhere else. Another great use is for spotting incoming spies. If you're seeing someone looking a little bit suspicious near your buildings, you know to get back out there and, and be really vigilant. In this example here, I go down to an arrow. So I immediately flick back to my sentry gun and check out where exactly that sniper was and just to see if he's gonna cause me any problems. He takes out my sentry gun so I can immediately go out there and try and apply some pressure onto him. First of all, spy check very frequently. A good quick and easy way to do that is actually just to walk through teammates or give them a quick whack with the wrench of course. Also, if your buildings are being sapped, in most situations it's best to kill the spy before fixing your buildings up. Because if you get into the situation where they keep spamming your buildings, you're not going to be able to keep up with their sapping. In some situations you'll find that the spy comes along and then he immediately runs away again. In this case it's fine to immediately try and fix your buildings up but just make sure you keep an eye on that spy and where he's going because he's likely going to want to return his attention to you from the moment you're distracted with your buildings. Another technique I sometimes find myself using, a little bit like baiting but with spies where you basically pretend you haven't seen them. So here there's a spy blatantly coming out of this doorway here. I'm not going to turn my attention immediately onto him, wait for him to get a bit closer, lure him in slightly and then I can get the shotgun shot onto him. Obviously bear in mind that most spies these days use dead ringers so assume they're not dead. You can check by um, trying to go over the metal they drop. I didn't pick up any metal so I'm going to take a look around and it turns out he's in this uh, little shed here and I'm able to finish him off. Last but not least, try to work together with your fellow engineers. Try to work kind of as a unit. If you can sort of build in spots that complement each other, covering different flanks for example, or covering each other's backs, it can mean you can get really strong setups. Also look after each other's buildings. They're more likely to return the favor if you do it for them. If for example, your sentry gun goes down, but there's another one up, for the short term, make that your priority. Help repair it, help fix it up. Once things are a little bit more stable, you can set your base back up. So I hope you enjoyed these tips. There's some other ones I noted down but didn't get a chance to go over. Obviously the importance of teleporters, don't neglect to build those. Try not to stand on your tellies or in front of your sentry. I've made that mistake several times myself. But yeah, I hope these tips were of use to you and I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.